What's up guys, today I'm going to show you my Android setup, or as most of you like to call it, what's on my Android phone. So without further ado, let's get started. My setup is very simple and minimalistic. I basically have three home screens where I keep my frequently used applications and I organize them in a way where I can easily find them. The launcher that I'm currently using is Nova. I like it because it resembles stock Android. Let's start off with the Icon Pack first. The Icon Pack that I'm rocking is called Magnix and I like it because it's really different compared to all of the other Icon Packs that I've seen out there. It's very unique, it's clean, and I like the fact that I sent a couple of icons to be themed and the developer actually took the time to do it within like a matter of days. So in terms of wallpaper, I am using MLV Originals. I like their style. They have a, a lot of really neat looking wallpapers that I tend to always gravitate to. So this is usually one of the applications that I always default to when I'm looking for a wallpaper. So on my first home screen, I have two widgets. The very top one is called HD Widgets, which allows you to do a lot of different things and you can customize it with either weather, time. It has a lot of different options, which I really like. And I also like that it matches my theme really well too. The bottom widget is called Today Now, which is a calendar widget, also matches really well with my whole theme that I have going on. So I really like that and it's very simple and easy to use too. So now let me show you what I have in my bottom dock. The very first app that I have here is the dialer, nothing special or anything like that. My second one is contacts, again, nothing special. Now for my text messaging app, I use this application called Drizzle. So I like to use Drizzle because it has some customization and features that I like. For example, Quick Reply. You can be using any application and if you get a text message, you'll be able to quickly reply and once you're done, you can go back and do whatever it is that you are doing. So another one of my favorite features is having the customization to have a dark or light theme. And I like the dark theme because it's easier on the eyes. And I also like the fact since I'm using a Galaxy S6, it's also going to help preserve battery since I have that Super AMOLED display. But aside from all of its neat features, this application actually pays you to text. And it's one of the first app that pays its users for ads instead of the other way around. So the way it works is they display a small banner ad on your messages and they actually share the ad revenue with you in the form of drops. Now these drops can be converted into cash, gift cards, and even charity. So the way I look at it is if you're already text messaging, why not get paid to do it, right? Now let's go ahead and jump onto the other screen. Oh yeah, Google Chrome is my default browser of choice. Now for music, I use Google Play Music since I have a subscription. But for offline, I use Easy MP3. Now I like Easy MP3 because it's very simple and easy to use. It's one of the better user interfaces for a music app. And I like how I can quickly find what I'm looking for. It gets updated regularly with new features that don't take away from the clean UI. I also like that they have themes where you're able to change it out from many different preset colors. And I like that they have this really large album art. But most importantly, I like how fast it is. And overall, it's a pretty lightweight application. So everything runs really smooth. And I highly recommend it if you want a really good MP3 player for local playback. So let's go ahead and jump back into the home screen. Now, I know I don't need to explain YouTube. Now, FanDuel is one that I use to manage my fantasy sports league. And now that NFL football is right around the corner, I'm going to do a full review on this application probably in the next couple of days. So let's go ahead and jump back into the main screen. So Netflix is one that you guys probably already know. Plex is one that I use for all of my movies, and I've done a video on it before. Peel Smart Remote. Now this is actually one that comes pre-installed with the Galaxy S6. And since the Galaxy S6 has an IR blaster, I'm able to control my television, any TV boxes, and I even have my own custom remote, which is nice. And I really like it. So anyhow, let's go ahead and jump back. Now Play Store, I don't need to talk about that one. Android Wear, so you know about the smartwatch. Droid Optimizer. Now this is one that I've talked about in the past. And I'm going to leave a link down below to my previous video I already did on it. So in a nutshell, if you own a Galaxy S6, you're definitely going to want to download this application. It's going to help with the memory. It's going to definitely speed things up. But most importantly, it's going to help with the battery. So if your phone is running sluggish and the battery life sucks, I mean, don't expect a miracle either. I mean, it's going to help, but it's not going to be like a battery pack. In any case, give it a try. I mean, it is free. There's no ad, so you really have nothing to lose. Definitely a thumbs up. 
So that was Droid Optimizer, and over here we have maps, I don't have to explain about that one, or a calculator. And down below I have some of these folders where I keep applications that I use a lot. So in my office folder I have E-Trade for stocks, Mint and Chase for my financials, Dropbox and Drive, you guys know that one, and TeamViewer. This is probably one that some of you have not heard of it, so I use this to control my computer remotely. It works really well and it's free, so definitely a must download if you like to be able to have access to your computer whenever you're on the go. Now for file managers, I use ES File Explorer and Root Explorer, even though I'm not rooted. And of course, Tasker, well, that needs no introduction. Now moving on to my social folder, I have the Essentials, Google+. For Twitter, I use Talon. Instagram, of course, Gmail, Periscope, and Google Hangouts. Now for my shopping, I keep it very simple. I only use Amazon, Yelp, eBay a couple times, PayPal, Starbucks and Costco. I don't use too many shopping apps. For my home automation, I've done videos on these, not the apps themselves, but the actual products. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave a couple of links down below to those videos in case you guys wanna go ahead and watch it. And I realized I added Tasker in there twice. So these are the applications that I use the most and I keep them on my home screen. But I also have other applications in case you guys wanna go ahead and check out. If you guys wanna pause this video on a particular screen, you can go ahead and do so. Also, if you guys have any questions on any of the applications that you see here, or if you guys want me to do more in-depth coverage on any app that I didn't talk about, because it's really difficult to talk about every single app, this video would probably be over an hour long if I did that, leave me a comment down below. Also, if you guys have any recommendations or any apps that you guys want me to check out, hit me up on Twitter, Google+, Instagram, Facebook. Anyhow guys, thanks again for watching, and you'll catch me in the next one. Adiós.